Is cherry picking of work items a concern for you? Now automate even distribution of work items such as leads or cases across team members using Lead Assignment Distribution and Automation App Engine. Before we head into the demo of the solution, let us understand the common problem faced by large organizations using Dynamics 365. Let us take example of the sales team that need to work on inbound leads. The leads could be recorded into the system through either manual entry or perhaps website integration. As soon as the leads are received, the company policy requires its sales rep to pick up the lead and engage with them as soon as possible. Often this is done by adding the leads to the queue and have sales rep manually pick the leads they need to work on. This often leads to cherry picking, which is a huge problem for such organizations. Lead assignment and distribution automation helps address this issue. By automating the process of distributing the records among the team members in a round-robin manner. This means that if we have three members in a team, the round-robin algorithm will allocate the records sequentially among the three users. In some scenarios, you may want to assign records to users based on their available capacity to ensure they are not over-allocated and can focus on the work items at hand. This is supported by configuring the distribution engine to allocate work items by capacity. This will ensure that the records are allocated in round-robin manner amongst the users only if they have free capacity to take up new work items. Any work items that enter the system but cannot be allocated to any of the team members as they have been allocated to their capacity remains in the queue, as in when the users complete the work items they are working on the allocation process resumes. Let's quickly have a look at the configuration options available for designing the distribution engine. You can create multiple distribution rules per entity to satisfy different distribution criteria. Here we have defined three different rules based on the lead rating, hot, warm, and cold. Within the rule, the first thing to define is the criteria for selecting the leads to be processed as per this configuration. You can either choose an existing view if you have one defined, or for power users, it is possible to specify the criterium using the fetch XML query. Next, we choose the queue which would be used to hold the records when there are not enough free users to take up the work. Choose round-robin algorithm for sequential assignment of records between the team members. If you would like to honor and define user capacities, you can choose the capacity option. In case of capacity, you can define the capacity required to perform one work item in units. This unit of work is deducted from the available capacity defined for the user. With these basic settings, you are ready for automated and even distribution of the work items. Here we see three items in the queue. Any new lead that enters the system would move to the assigned queue. The count of records has increased. Here is the assigned workload for the users. As there are users available to pick up the work item, it will be auto-assigned based on the round-robin algorithm. And this was assigned to John. Try this solution now to solve your record assignment problems, and feel free to reach out to us for any queries. This app is available for Dynamics 365 v9.x onwards and is available for trial evaluation on AppSource.